Hi, I'm Jennifer Reynolds with the TV show Horse of the West. I'm here with Sammy Miller from the National Reining Horse Association and Oded Fine, who's uh, with MS Diamonds. Uh, they have created a gorgeous, how many carat diamond? Uh, 101. 101 diamond. Uh, that is, it's a ring that is inspired by the incredible championship ring that's up for grabs tonight at the National Reining Horse Association Fraternity Open Final. These people have all submitted their names for it. We're going to draw a name and hope to get somebody on the phone who will come up here tonight and uh, be presented this beautiful ring at the National Running Horse Association hey. Open Championship Here Final. 969. 969 is the number. We're going to look up the name. It's almost like one of the last ones ringing. Okay, at least that's good. Deborah? Hello? Hi, this is Odette from MS Diamonds. This is Odette. I'm happy to tell you that you just you just win the diamond ring. Yeah, so you can you're more than welcome to come to our booth now and get your ring. Come, come, quickly. Come. <laughs> okay. Hello, one sec. Congratulations. Step up here, Sammy. Go ahead. Oh, they got it? You get in there. No, no we're going to let them do it. Okay. I'll get out of the way. So you're our winner. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Now you're here from where? United Kingdom. All right. And how, you just signed up for this fairly recently, I guess. Yeah, like half an hour ago. <laughs> she was almost yeah. the last one. Yep. The last one just minutes before we close it. Wow. But we shook that bag and yeah. we started up and you still ended up winning it. So wow. it's meant to be. I'm never this lucky. Really? Really, really. <laughs> All right, there's your ring. This is your ring. Try to put it. Are you sure it's real? I don't know which finger. I'm shaking now. It fits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Yeah, sure we are very, very, very happy to give it to I'm you. I'm glad I got my nails done now. <laughs> this, is, this is good news. Gotta get my face in it. <laughs> yeah, you would hate to have to show off this ring and have barn barn wow. hands, right? What metal Beautiful. Is it? This it? is a uh, white gold, 18 carat, wow. and you have like uh, over one of. Look how much I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond. Wow, it's stunning. And it has all the inspiration from the championship uh, ring. Okay. If you see the two long horns holding the diamonds, it's an oval shaped diamond. Uh -huh. No, I didn't even see that when she was wearing it earlier. Yeah. That's incredible. Wow, thank you so much. Wow. Who makes it? We? You do. Up in the nose. So give him a hug. Oh, okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Dad, this is a gorgeous ring. Uh, tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind it and what all went into crafting it. Uh, the whole inspiration behind this uh, championship ring was to create something that will attach all the elements, the western elements, so you can see like the long horn and you can see the western bullet and you can see the saddle and the engraving all around the ring. Mm -hmm. And my biggest idea was to give something to, the, to those athletes, which it's both the horses and the riders, to give them something that they will feel unique to be like any other athletes because all the other athletes, especially here in the United States, they have uh, like a championship ring. And the biggest thing that we did in this ring was to give one to the owner. That the owner can be proud and wear it every day because those owners, those are the people that standing behind everything and they give the power to the trainers, to the horses to continue on and on. And sometimes they're staying at the back, nobody knows who they are. So by wearing a thing like this, they're at the front. People will notice them. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Now talk to me about the word Slapnir. This is Norse, right? So yeah. Uh, the Slapnir word, it's coming from the Viking mythology. Uh, I look for something for the connection to the land in, uh, in America. And I went back and I found that uh, the first people that came here to the United States, to American land, were the Vikings. And then I looked for something to be connected to the horses. And then I found that Odin, the king of the Vikings, which he was a god, he had a horse. And his horse is uh, Sleipnir. And this Sleipnir, has, he was a very unique horse. He had like eight legs. But 
what's more funny in this that in the old Viking language, Sleipnir it means the sliding one. So this is exactly what we are doing. Here. So I decided that will be the name for this brand and to give this name to this ring. And perfect. Yeah. yeah. It okay. came perfect. Now, why did you want to be involved in the National Reining Horse Association? What was it about this that, that drew you? To be too um, all my life I've been around horses and I think that the reining is, in the Western style, it's a very high-end thing that you have to be very precise and to, you cannot make mistakes. So this is the place where I wanted to be and I feel being connected and that's why I choose the reining. I can tell you're not from Texas by your accent. Yeah, I'm coming from Israel. But so, you grew up around horses. Yeah, all my life I worked with horses and I started my way here in America uh, with my best friend, uh, Steve Brown, in his ranch in the year 2000. So he is the one that basically introduced me into that culture of the reining. And he's with me since then and he's helping me very much. And big part of this ring the, all the people here own this to Mr. Steve Brown. What else should I ask you? Okay. Pretty exciting giving the ring away and having uh, having Deborah come up here and get it. She's pretty pumped. Oh yeah, she did a long way, you know. She's, so this is also was one of the ideas that we had to bring people just not to win any saddle or boots or something different. And now she have a over one carat diamond ring. She can take back to England. And this is what she got on the reigning futurity. Yeah, she didn't get a t-shirt, she got a ring. Yeah. No, she has a <laughs> ring, a diamond ring. <laughs>